I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of uh, preaching. What? Then get the hell out of my church. I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. You know, I don't believe in a young earth. And then the big dumb animal, Keith Gomez, just sits there and listens to him preach this. Well, got some more fun proof that the new IFB is a cult. You see, they proclaim to be independent fundamental Baptists. But the truth is, there is no independence in that group whatsoever. And I, I was a former, I'm a former insider, you could say. I was part of that group, the new IFB, for nearly three years. Okay, 2017 to 2019. We're in June of 2017 to March of 2019, early April, around the time. That was when I left. Okay. And, you know, they are a cult, plain and simple. There is, there is no final authority outside Stephen Anderson. All the puppet pastors in the group, they would never, like, you know, Sam Gibb once pointed out that they would never have a speaker in that Anderson disapproves of. That is absolutely true, you know. And here's one such example. I mean, as if I haven't already proven it time and time again that this is a cult and that there is no independence because, really, Stephen Anderson is their final authority. And here's just another example of this. He ordains somebody, sends them out, and apparently they quit without telling him, and he gets upset about that. Um, you know, that's not independence, okay? If he's an independent pastor, why does he have to tell you when he quits? You know, and Anderson's all upset, oh, I had to hear from, like, you know, uh, five, you know, I had to hear from, like, a fifth-party source and everything else. Um, that's not independent uh, Baptist church. That's a cult. And right there you have the Pope upset about one of his little underlings quitting without telling him. So here's the clip. You know, we ordained and sent out Brother Richard Miller. After about two months, he quit. And not only did he quit, he quit totally without warning, without telling me. In fact, he still hasn't told me. Even to this minute, he's never told me. I had to hear about it fifth hand. It went through five people. I'm always the last to know, you know what I mean? I heard about this through the grapevine, fifth hand. And it isn't right, and I'm gonna rebuke it right now from the pulpit, it isn't right. Now, let me just set your mind at ease right now there was no scandal. Yeah, that's what you have right there. What you have right there with Stephen Anderson is a diotrophies. You know, 3 John chapter 1, verse 9 and 10 talks about that. Mark chapter 10, verse 42 down to verse 45 gives a good rebuke of this unscriptural lordship over the, the believers that Anderson wields. Also, when it comes to the qualifications of an elder, and, or qualifications of a pastor or a bishop or whatever else, overseer, Anderson doesn't meet any of the qualifications. You know, in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, and Titus chapter 1, verse 5 to 9. You know, he doesn't have control over his children, obviously with the you know, filthy perverted text messages they were sending, that whole scandal that went down. You know, he just, he, he, is, he behaves like a little child and everything else. You know, and here's just another such example of Stephen Anderson wielding cultic control over his followers. You know, again, if the guy was an independent pastor, he doesn't have to tell you anything. He doesn't have to tell you when he does this or what he does here and there, you know. you know, And if he doesn't, you have no reason to get upset about it because remember, you're independent, you know. But apparently in the new IFB, they're independent in name only because really Stephen Anderson is indeed the Pope. So I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.